to start with a little bit of a puzzle here. What was common between these three quotes that I'm going to read out and Zoe's speech? An extract from Lincoln's speech. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. That's quote number one. A quote number two, Declaration of Independence. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's quote number two. And quote number three from Martin Luther Jr.'s speech, justice, goodwill, and brotherhood. What was common between these three examples and Zoe's speech? The rules of three. That's exactly right, Ishwa. And I'm going to read out the definition from Wikipedia. So bear with me, Zoe. The rule of three is a principle in writing that suggests that things that come in threes are inherently funnier, more satisfying, or more effective than other number of things. And I think that's exactly what you did in your speech. You asked an example saying, how would you save energy, or how would you reduce greenhouse effects, and you used three examples. I recycle bottles and cans, reuse shopping bags, and turn off lights. You stuck to rules of threes. And on your speech as well, you focused on three ways that you can help the environment. I missed point number one, but point number two was climate change, and point number three was solves world hunger. So again, I think this was an improvement. In the past, you've spoken of about five or six or seven more items, but in this speech, you focused on only three items, and it makes it easier to capture what you're saying. And I missed point number one, as I said, which directly leads me into the improvements that I'm going to suggest. I would have liked had you summarized those three key items at the very end. And you could have said point number one, point number two, climate change, and point number three, solves world hunger. Very simple summary. Number two, where I think you could have improved was eye contact. I think you were looking around, but you were not looking into any particular person's eyes. And I might be wrong, but that was the impression I got. And you are the best person to answer that question. So I would suggest if you're not looking into any one person's eyes, go ahead and do that, stare at them. Stare at them. And the third suggestion which I can offer to improve your speech is you had a great opening. You started with your title itself. There's no such thing as a meat-eating environmentalist. And you could have thrown a question right after that. What does this topic mean to you? Isn't it ironic? Isn't it hypocritical? Isn't it insincere? And then you can directly go into what you have to say. And with that said, I think you did a great job today by simply sticking to the rules of threes. Thank you, Zoe.